Here's the backstory to my Martha Stewart living collection. I worked at a photo agency back in 1990 here in Stockholm, and through one of the editors of a fashion magazine, I was introduced to Martha as she had a copy of her very first magazine. I loved it, and since that day I collected every single issue of the magazine and most books and special editions too. I loved how Martha took homekeeping to a whole new level, and while her decor style has never been mine, I prefer Alexis's much more. I think her original editors did amazing work. Now that I'm finally downsizing instead of upsizing, I'm ready to give up my collection. I flipped through each magazine. Pages that I still found interesting, I tore out. To be honest, there wasn't very much that I kept from those early years. I mostly kept my three favorite topics. Decor, organizing and cleaning. I've kept tear sheets and binders before, so I added one binder labeled Martha. After I have a pile of tear sheets, I punch holes in them and insert them into the binder, working my way from the oldest at the back of the binder to the most current at the front. That way I can easily keep adding. All Martha tear sheets went into that one except the Christmas inspo ones, which I kept with all other Christmas inspiration. I now have one binder filled with awesome inspiration instead of multiple piles and magazine holders containing a couple of hundred issues. The magazines now go off to be recycled. Bye bye Martha. Hey